Hello everyone, today I'm going to be giving you a brief walkthrough on how to set up and use the Save Toolbox package. Save Toolbox is an all-in-one solution to implement saving functionality within your project. First, you'll want to get the Save Toolbox package. I have mine here within this folder and simply just drag it into the Assets folder. Once you've done that, you'll be greeted with a import window that looks like this. You'll be able to select which folders you want to import. The example folder and the documentation file are not necessary, but are highly recommended as they contain a lot of useful information on how to use the package. Okay, now that the package is imported, you'll be greeted with two logs in the console, one saying the save toolbox preferences file could not be found, and one saying the loadable object database file could not be found. Each of these is being generated for you within a resources folder. As a quick overview on what each of them does, the loadable object database holds a reference to all prefabs that have a loadable object component on them. These are objects that you will want to spawn at runtime when you load a save. The other file that was generated is the save toolbox preferences file. This holds the preferences for the save toolbox tool, such as if you want debug logging enabled, as well as the default save game settings. These should all work by default. So if we want to save some stuff, we can go to the C, create an empty game object and call it save transform, as that's what we'll be saving. Set the position to one, two, three, and let's change the rotation as well, as well as a scale. Then we can add a component. We can click save toolbox, um, and then we can click saving behaviors. And then at the bottom, we can find STB transform. On this component, you'll see that there is the option to load the position, rotation, and scale. You can mix and match these as you see fit, but we'll leave them all enabled for now. And that is how you save the transform of a game object. So if we want to save some more custom data, we can create a game object called player. I've created a player script earlier that has some custom data on it that we'll want to save. They're called player name and player health. We can now add the STB component saver to save the custom data on this custom script. Once you add it, you'll see a button saying add new component. So if you click that, it will give you an object field and in there we can drag in the component. Once that's been set, it will now say there are no fields to save. If we click fit add field, we can click it twice because there's two fields to save. In here, you'll see that the player name and player health fields are there. It'll also include some other fields such as name, tag, and they're just generic game object fields. Um, you can save them, but we want to save the player name. And we want to save the player health. So now this component will save that data for us whenever we save the game. So now, um, if we go to STV transform, that's been set. We can add a save system controller into the scene, another empty game object. Click our component, add save system controller. This is just a simple component that will allow us to save and load the game from the editor. Okay, once we've added that, we can click play. And then once we're in play mode, we can check the save transform. The transform, the position is one, two, three. The rotation on X is 30 and the scale on X is two. The player, if we go to the player, the player name is player name and the player health is 100. And then if we save the game, it will now save all these field values. Now, if we go to the transform, we start changing the values. Set them to whatever you want. We're just gonna set them all to zero here. And then if you go to the player, we can set the player name to Bob, let's say, and then we can set the health to 10 or 20. We'll change it just so it looks a bit different. Um, once we've done that, we can then go to load and it should load all the values that we had in there previously. You'll see in the console that there's a log saying it's loaded. The position is now back to 1, 2, 3. The rotation on X is 30 and the scale on X is 2. Now, if we go to our custom script, you'll see the player name has been set back to player name and the player health has been set back to 100. And that's how easy it is to use Save Toolbox. I highly recommend checking out the examples folder. It's super useful, got a bunch of stuff in there, as well as checking out the documentation file. It tells you how to extend upon a bunch of functionality that the package has. Thank you for showing an interest in the tool. I hope it suits your needs, but if you have any feedback, I'll leave my support email and the support Discord link down below. Thanks again, guys. Bye.